Welcome to the Pecan tutorial series. In this video, we'll be looking at CFAGE's annotation guide and some of the resources uh, that can be found in the guide that is useful in being able to answer some questions and problem areas that you'll run into as you go through annotation. The CFAGE's annotation guide can be found at this address. <coughs> is the home address and it gets you here. This is the cfages.org. And over here on the right is the bioinformatics guide. In the bioinformatics guide, there's a lot of background information that you may be interested in. Uh, the phage biology, um, <clears throat> other bioinformatic uh, basics, some databases even. But what we'll focus on is the phage annotation and data interpretation. Underneath this, there are several um, topics there's an overview. One of the things that's most useful, I think, is this guiding principles. And I would strongly suggest that you come and read through this. Look at some of these guiding principles. Um, for example, genes uh, do not often overlap more than a few bases, although about 30 bases is legitimate. But hundreds of bases, for example, is probably not. Um, some other ones here that are useful is protein coding genes are generally at least 120 uh, base pairs, which is about 40 amino acids long. Okay, are there exceptions? Yeah, but that's a good rule. This is kind of a rule of thumb. Um, you want to know what the stop codons are. UAG, UGA, and UAA, for example. And what are the start codons that are possible in these bacteriophages, in bacteria in general? Um, ATG, GTG, and UUG, okay? In, in the RNA, it's U's instead of T's, but in the DNA, this is what we see. So there's a lot of interesting and useful information in here. Um, including a little bit about the uh, um, ribosomal binding site, for example. Um, AGG, AGG, we talked about that as a way of determining where start sites often are. And we'll show you later some evidence that shows how well um, any particular ribosomal binding site fits this kind of consensus sequence. Okay, so take a look at this um, or print it out, set it by your machine. It's useful. Um, background information and to serve as a reference. Okay, let's see. Uh, evaluating, we're going to be looking at this next. Um, start codons. Um, what's useful about this? Okay, uh, looking at the ribosomal binding sites, for example. Here's lots of information on that and what the numbers mean. We'll explain that when, when we get to that in PECAN. Interpret, interpreting a starterator reports. We're going to be looking at that next, for example. Uh, predicting tRNA genes. Ah, what, what features do we look for? What are some of the things that really define a, a gene as a tRNA? So these are all very useful so take a look through this. I just wanted to give you a, a brief um, shout out for 
taking a look at this reference information. Okay, um, this is where it can be found, as I mentioned, cphages.org. Next, we will be looking at um, Starterator, Phages DB links, and the NCBI Blast to help figure out where the correct start sites are for a particular protein coding gene. So stay tuned for that. Thank you. Bye.